Hello there guys and welcome to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. In this video I'm going to be telling you how to get quick or more strafe kills. But first I'm going to show you the best class setup for this and I'm going to jump into the game. And I'll just show you how to get more. So this is the class. You can use any assault rifle. This is going to get you the concrete camo for assault rifles. It's different for SMGs. But anyway, you need to get 40 strafe kills for your assault rifle to get the concrete camo. And this is the class I would recommend for it. So I'm using the attachments, suppressor, foregrip and extended mags. For my perk 1 I'm using low profile, for perk 2 peripherals and for perk 3 I'm using 2 perks, toughness and blast suppressor. And for my exo ability I'm using exo stim. Score seek number one, UAV with the upgrades, speed, enemy direction and threat detection and system hack with flash, extended time and disable exosuit. So, this this class is going to work really well for strafe kills. I have tried it out once or, well not once, maybe a few times and it works quite well. But anyway guys, let's jump right into the game and see how I do. Hello there guys and welcome to the game. We are playing team deathmatch on the map Solar. So this is a pretty good map for getting those strafe kills, right? So basically a strafe kill is where you kill an enemy while you are in the air. So only you have to be in the air. If the enemy's in the air too, you will get dogfight medals. And I am not doing well that, that's a strafe. As you can see the medal appeared on screen there. So yeah, they're quite easy to get. You just want to make sure you jump at the right time and you can beat the enemy. So that was not a strafe because my accuracy was atrocious. But I think you guys get the point. So all you need to do is just jump in there and kill an enemy while you're in midair. There is another strafe. Oh, I almost had another one there. Our UAV is online. There is another. That is a dogfight medal, guys. So you need to be very, very careful about them because I believe it doesn't count as a strafe when you get a dogfight because it's a dogfight. However, it may count as a dogfight and a strafe. But there is another strafe, I believe. No, that was a dogfight. The enemy must have uh, jumped. So as I said, you need to be very careful of the, uh, another dogfight. Oh, I thought I had a double strafe there. I believe we got one. I don't know if a medal appeared or not. So, guys, that was like a quick glimpse of the class. It worked very, very well. As you saw, I got quite a few dogfight medals, so you need to be careful of that. That's a main tip. But if you use this class tactically and well, I believe you will get lots of strafe kills. As you can see, I got quite a few in that game, and that was only a portion of them that I've got. Using this class, I've used it quite numerous amounts of times. It's just a really good class for getting strafe kills. Or you could just get them normally if you want to, but I would recommend this. It will get you them a lot quick. This class also works well for other things like high kill streaks because it's such a stealthy class. Because you need stealth to get behind the enemies and sort of surprise them to get them strafe kills. So anyway guys, I hope this video helped you out. If it has, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.